Hi, I'm Dr. Golani. Today I'll be addressing for you a very important question that keeps coming up and that is lens implant technologies and which lens is right for your eye. There are so many options today and as you know me, I love technology and innovation and I'm always a privileged to using technologies and lens implants even much before FDA approval in the US with my international privileges. There are about over 34 lens implants, and as we're talking, there could be more uh, approved in the United States and uh, over 80 uh, premium lens implants approved internationally and worldwide. So imagine the amount of options that you should be given. Most of the patients are usually given options between three and a menu card, and I disagree with that uh, concept because it's like offering a patient a burger, a hot dog, and a taco uh, for lunch and dinner and breakfast when all it means is that that particular a practice or doctor is limited to that technology. A patient should actually be deserving what is the best lens technology and optics for their eye. So even though the lens implant is such an important uh, aspect of your surgery and visual outcomes, I like you to think about it as an ingredient. It's just an ingredient, a vital ingredient, but it's an ingredient in the entire vision recipe. So if your eye has not been planned for, if the anatomy of your eye, the physiology of your eye, the optics of your eye, the refraction of your eye, and the neural ability of your eye cannot handle that lens implant, that is the main reason why patients are flying to us with uh, very unhappy outcomes. They're disgruntled, they're angry, they're disappointed with their doctors. Once again, I tell them, it's not that your doctor did anything wrong. It's not that the lens implant is defective or wrong. As I say, every tennis racket works, right? You should know how to use it and what kind of play to design in your final outcome. So for lens implant itself, as I will explain to you, you'll understand how deep this is. So you will never fall for these uh, advertising or gimmicks or hype about a new lens or a new lens technology and what it can do for you. It individually varies for each eye and its own optics, right? So for example, most patients who come here keep giving us the history that when they had cataracts or when they went to their eye doctors anywhere in the country, in the world, they're offered three or four choices and then they have to pick from there. Most common choices they are offered are progressive lens implants, which make you see distance near and in between, toric lens implants that contain astigmatism correction, and a monofocal or basic lens as they call it that fixes one level of vision, not the entire optical system. Now think about it as I teach. Even a progressive lens, the one among the three choices you were given, has so many subcategories. It could further have astigmatism in it. For example, we can have a toric lens, which is monofocal, bifocal, trifocal, multifocal, accommodative, diffractive, X-wave technology. All these could be just with the toric lens. So see the amount of choices and subcategories. Your multifocal lens could be diffractive optic, it could be multifocal progressive optic, it could be, like I said, trifocal optics that are changing throughout. It could also be accommodative, pseudo-accommodative. So again, see the variances. Even your monofocal lens can be different. On top of that, these are just the optical differences. They can further be material different, like the Clarion technology that has been released uh, with the Alcon lenses, supposed to have less of a shimmering or a shiny particles in it over time. So if you look at it from that aspect, now you will understand how deep the lens implant options are. And that I personally believe a patient should not be given just three options, but the doctor must in depth study your eye, understand your optics, anatomy, physiology, neural capacity, best vision potential based on your eye, and then pick one among all these uh, extreme range of techniques and technologies to fit your eye. So I have gone a little more deeper to explain to you, of course, when I speak to surgeons, it's even more deeper than this is how to even use these implants differently in different eyes, how to place them. We call that effective lens positions, axis, how to place the axis in different cases, because even if you just have a cataract, it is up to the doctor to go deeper into the eye to study, do you have cataract, but a cornea that has Fuchs dystrophy or a cornea that has formed for keratoconus or a cornea that has very high regular astigmatism, or a cornea that had previous LASIK or PRK or radial keratotomy surgery. You see, all that changes the dynamics. Now you cannot take the best recently released multifocal toric or uh, trifocal toric lens and put it inside the eye. You may end up with glare, halos, inadequate outcomes. And that's the whole point I'm trying to uh, explain here. 
So please don't get caught up with just the lens technology. Ask for a detailed evaluation of your eye and what optics it can tolerate for the best outcome. And then that's the lens implant that's right for you. Now, there are some recent lens implants that are have come out, uh, the innovations and FDA approved in the US, the light adjustable lens, there's a pinhole or a small uh, aperture optic lenses. These lenses are great to make people see and also they can be adjusted over time after your surgery. Here's my take on them. Of course, the future is where we'll be able to put in lenses in your eyes and we can even adjust them in the future, the lens itself, and make the power exactly what it should be for that eye. But in its present state, I am not so excited about it right now because one, I've been getting my results without the need to change the lens implants or exchange them, even in extreme cases of cataracts, even people with previous rail keratotomy or LASIK or scars. So to me, I truly believe as a teacher, I do not want doctors to fall for these lens implants and use them in any case that is difficult because then the doctors will inherently lose the capacity to think, plan or dedicate the time needed to plan for excellence. Because once you know that you can adjust the lens, then you might become a little more lax in your ability or in your tightness of your diagnostics, if that makes sense, right? If you know your suit can be adjusted, I don't want you to relax as a tailor and do it ordinarily. I still want you to measure to perfection and deliver perfection. And if you don't, adjust it. So this is my take on lens implants. Patients of radial keratotomy in particular are told they're impossible, difficult. Yes, that is true. But having had the track record of success in these patients, they can be corrected with new lens technology. Now, there's really no need to adjust the lens. And in fact, in most of these cases, they land on excellent vision despite your RK cuts in the cornea. So I hope that helps you. A lot of lens implant choices, a lot of advertising, a lot of hype going around. But don't just lose everything and focus on just that. Make sure your doctors are watching and uh, diagnosing you, a detailed evaluation, custom designing your surgery, planning what is the right lens for you from this entire range of lens implants, not just three on a menu card. Then and only then, please proceed. And again, every doctor is human. They're doing the best they can for you. No one can guarantee the outcome, but I do want this to be very important for surgeons and patients is just don't fall for this hype of just a lens implant. It's an ingredient. The recipe is more important, vision recipe. How is the eye going to accept that ingredient to perfection for your vision? So I hope this helps you. This is Dr. Golani.